airport and he was apparently met by multiple federal agents who received the tip that they could possibly be drugs on board of his private jet. Now, the Miami, Miami Herald, you know, reported this story and pretty much said that when they landed the plane, he was swarmed by agents. They came in and they found a gun and apparently some cocaine on that plane right there. Now, the FBI, the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, Miami-Dade Police and other agencies were all a part of of that search squad. Um, somebody snitched, obviously, but Sam, man, no charges have yet to be filed yet. We're not sure if they will, but they did find the gun and cocaine, um, allegedly on the airport, on the plane, excuse me, of little Wayne's private jet. What are your thoughts about the story? Um, it's a fixed game. We play, it's a fixed game. We live in man. And these rappers are a lot of them, especially a little Wayne is well equipped for these situations. Now, Somebody got caught slipping a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be anything egregious enough to file charges. I don't think it was anything big enough or substantial enough. We're not looking at a situation where they found six, seven bottles of lean, <laughs> hundred some odd pounds of seven, marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, God knows what else, pills, whatever. Right. It's not one of those situations. Wasn't that home run like we were talking about in the pre-production that they may have been looking for. Mm. But let's go to the source, which is a snitch. Lil Bootsy talked about it. He said it best. Um, somebody had to be telling, and we think it's the pilot. I'm gonna let Lil Bootsy talk a little bit, oh God, and then I want to get your thoughts on what he says. I wanna beat that fucking pilot ass. Somebody need to beat that fucking pilot ass, bro. The one who what told the about- fucking people they had guns on the plane. Bitch, you should you shouldn't what you the one made them the fucking people come search the plane. That's why he swallowed the shit, the rat, the fucking snitches. It's a worldwide fucking epidemic. Snitches. Oh, snitching ass bitch driving the plane, going alert the authority. You snitching ass hoe. You a hoe. If you live, right, so- if you listen, then bitch. All right, well, what do you think about that, man? Nah, I agree. I love it, man. It's just like, it obviously had to be, you know, the pilot. And I, I would think, you know, I, I don't know. I, you know, you you would want to build like a rapport with somebody. You yeah. know what I mean? And like have somebody that you trust, even with that type of situation. Now, people do a whole bunch of different things. That's not my business. What they carrying on a plane and whatnot. That's why it's a private plane. It's almost like being in your private car and you get a driver or some shit, and you got your stuff in there. And he go and tells you know um the police that oh these people got guns and stuff like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't like it, man. I don't like rats. And um, but but I think that. You know, um, they got to, these rappers got to start moving a little bit smarter. You know what I mean? At this point, you know, um, honestly, I think they got to start getting people, more people around them that they trust. Even if that's the pilot, you got to have somebody that you trust. I was going to ask you though. Okay. <laughs> if it ain't obviously a situation where they trust the pilot, know the pilot, not comfortable with the pilot. Cause you got the dude telling the second he could, that there's things on the plane that don't belong or whatever the case, even though it's private, it should be a kind of a law against even disposing that kind of information, but neither here nor there. We know they don't play by the rules. Who do you blame it on? Oh God, is it the snitch Mm -hmm. or is it the source? Because of course we all want juice world back. He swallowed the pills, even though there's so much other things on the plane, but yeah, I agree with booty. I blame the pilot. He told, he did, but they knew that they knew this dude. If they saw all that stuff, you could tell, you could look at somebody's eye like that. This motherfucker telling. So I can't speak for you. Right. Answer this question. You you more than welcome to, but I don't yes. see you getting into a private situation, whether that be a plane or a car, and showing off whatever you got happened to have it, maybe a J or two, but nothing crazy. I mean, I, we don't even know it? that. We don't even it, it could have been like they could have been watching them and they just chose this opportunity to try to bust them. Maybe they thought they could find a little bit more in there, mm-hmm. make a situation a headline like Juice World. Um, but I think that yeah, it, it probably came from the pilot or who knows how many people was connected to the situation. Like maybe somebody seen him walking through the airport. Who knows? You know what I mean? They could have just been speculating. There's so many things that could have happened. We you know a little Wayne, but um, who I blame is definitely it starts with the pilot. Definitely. Cause we wouldn't know what the hell he had on this private jet. If somebody didn't, I mean, not to say we don't know if it was the pilot. We're just speculating obviously, but you know, um, whoever told, we would never know unless they say something. That's why it's, that's, that's private. This is he needs a gun. If they doing this thing, who cares about the cocaine? You know what I mean? So what? That's that's the way I look at it. It's like, you know, weed or anything like that. P- 
you choose to put in your body what you want to put in your body. Mm-hmm. I'm not making no excuses. And I also got to say the rappers got to start moving smarter, knowing that the, the along arm of the law is watching you and they got your phone tapped and all that type of stuff. And they're looking for any situation where they can um, jam you up, have people on there with the proper, you know, license and shit like that. You know what I mean? You know, it, and it, not to say, I mean, again, no, there's no charges yet. So I'm not sitting up here saying, oh, they had a legal gun. We don't even know that yet. It could have been registered at this point. Oh, we don't know that. Exactly. No, we don't right. know what was going on. And that's why no charges. It wasn't the home run they were looking for. Right. Um, a lot, I was thinking when you were saying that a lot of people, and we don't even know, maybe the pilots were former law enforcement. You never know if they had military. A lot of them walk under the same kind of code where like, nah, if I see something, I'm reporting see it. See something, say something. See something, say something. Man, I mean, commercial. Like, like, you, show, you play it for me every week, <laughs> man. Every week he plays for me. Um, but nah, you never know what these, you just never know. And that's why you have to have somebody, even a pilot, trustworthy. If you're yeah. doing this for years and years on end, you get somebody on the payroll, you fill them out. And then you you keep them, keep her, whoever, because it ain't worth it even showing or whatever and throwing off alarms and having the feds having to check you. For he hurt that, nobody. Man. Like at the hurt end of the day, no way ain't going and like taking that gun and going to go do something and go, you know, neighborhood and nah, go hurt somebody. Nah, nope. that's simply, you know what I mean? These dudes is moving throughout, going to their show, living in their mansions and doing whatever they want to do. So uh-huh. it's just like, that's why, you know, Boosie talks about the rat. It's like, it's no Space in this world for a rat. It's like, why do it? What do you think you're doing? You're right. not saving nothing, not helping nothing. Not helping nothing. It's just crazy. Just giving man. somebody a hard time and ruining somebody's life. Right. For nothing. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, man, you know, that's one of those situations where you kind of just got to, you know, um, just move smarter, you know, and it seems like I, obviously we always talk about this, but it's real. Every other week, every month, we talk about another rapper who has some type of running with the law, he gets arrested, sight of a weed possession, something like that. So, that is what it is, Sam, man. Crazy. Yeah. And we don't see any other genre of music getting caught up the same way. But we all know they're living like rock stars. So it's very <laughs> that's, funny that's, that's a good point. and a coincidence that it happens only happened in hip-hop. I don't yeah. Know. Definitely, definitely. Well, speaking of another rapper, man, Baby has been making a lot of headlines the last couple of weeks now. Um, he was apparently um, performing at Bojangles Coliseum on Monday night when he left the venue and he got to the parking lot to his car People or sources are saying that about 15 cops swarmed the vehicle and they found weed inside the car. Now, little Boosie secretly, I mean, Boosie, the the baby, I'm thinking about Boosie, the baby, you know, secretly recorded the cops during this arrest. And um, the crazy part about this, though, Sandman, is that they actually ended up charging him with resisting um, arrest or resisting an officer. Um, He was not arrested, just cuffed and cited. You know, um, and the weed charge that he got from that particular situation down there in his home state, his home state of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, are they messing with the baby, Sandman, or do you think that it's just, you know, um, just a coincidence? Well, the baby feels as though they're messing with him. He dropped something on his Instagram shortly after the incident, after he got released, and he definitely has thrown the red flag on the police. It's not surprising. He's from Charlotte. They know him. Yep. They know exactly who he is. And we see similar situations happening like this throughout the United States of America and pertaining to hip hop artists. We've seen it happen in Nipsey in his home city, Slauson. We've seen it happen to um, who am I? I just had another name on the top of my head. O'Rallo down south where he's at. He's sitting in the situation. We've seen it happen to Offset in Atlanta. T.I. happened to deal with some situations out there in Atlanta. So it's not surprising that the baby being one of the hottest rappers in the game right now, one of the hottest talents, one of the hottest names in the game right now, going back to a place where, I mean, we all know how racial lines are in North Carolina. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're horrible, depending on what line you're on. Mm -hmm. Um, For these cops to be messing with them, absolutely. Oh, God, I'm going to play a clip of what the baby said, and then I want to get your thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. This how you know the police did wrong. I'm in there waiting to see the magistrate. Three hours. Let it make me take 12 different mud shots. These, the two arresting officers coming in and tell the COs, we need Jonathan Kirk's property. And take me back out. The intake, though, the same, though. If they brought me in on handcuffs, I'm walking past. I'm walking past and brought in the jail on my way out. 
everybody in the world who ever been to jail, especially in, in Charlotte, mm -hmm. you know it's policy for them to cut this ban off of you before they let you out the door. They didn't take me out the right door. They took me out the same door they brought me in. They illegally searched me, illegally arrested me. Mm -hmm.